I present you if Amy Schumer was honest. I've been in a committed relationship with Kermit the Frog for years now, and you shouldn't really find that surprising at all, considering the license plate of promiscuity I slap on myself at every given chance. I've made as many bad jokes as I've lost pounds in the last few years. Oh wait, sorry, dollars, I forgot I'm American. I was brought up in a well-connected wealthy household, and I haven't had to move a finger to get anywhere in life. I'm sure starting a career on the two New York-based media companies Comedy Central and NBC have nothing to do with my cousin being a US senator from New York. But hey, don't ask me. I'm not clever enough to do research unless it involves a punchline. On the topic of jokes, I seem to joke a little bit about harassing men. One time explaining I would shout Bradley Cooper's name on red carpets to make my sister laugh. I always harass him. I'm just like, Bradley! Like, to make my sister laugh, I shout his name. Ironic, considering my sister seems to make tweets about my previous lovers. Oh! And you remember that awful Steve-O joke I made? But I truly am, no joke, sorry for the loss of your friend Ryan Dunn. I know you must have been thinking it could have been me, and I know we were all thinking, why wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have listened to my sister slash co-worker's morals when it came to making jokes of that stature too. I think there's a difference between stifled and mindful. I think if you write a joke and think it might hurt someone, choosing to not go with it feels, I don't know, fine. But then again, I didn't write that joke, did I? So I guess that point isn't really valid. For someone who likes to make consistent jokes about vaginas, you'd think I'd like to indulge in self-cleansing. Yet after being called out for stealing jokes by the entire internet, I still seem to do exactly that with no remorse. I'm very old school. I think the guy should always pay on the first date for sex. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I like it when the guy pays <laughs> for sex. And that's just one example of my plagiarism. You can use Google for the rest, just like I do for my jokes. I've also made many questionable jokes about the hygiene of my never region. Be able to take my underwear off at the end of the night and have it not look like I blew my nose in it and... Not sure why when I got married I didn't take my husband's surname of Fisher because it would have been quite fitting. And while we're on the topic of fitting, if you thought my last joke about vaginas was disgusting, well, you haven't seen me wear a bin liner on a Netflix special yet. It was quite uncomfortable being in that outfit, though, as I'll show you now by the noises coming out of my mouth. But if I'm being honest, I think the general consensus is that people would never want to enter me anyway. I'm guessing that's why they made the TV show Inside Amy Schumer, because not many people know. Ironic considering half of my humour consists of talking about men having intercourse with me. But remember, I've got a team of ghostwriters who wrote, sorry, stole those jokes, so if you make them at me, I will not like it. I've starred in many movies, such as Trainwreck, an accurate representation of my career, Snatched, still two letters away from talking about a vagina, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World, it seems like I'll be searching for some time, The Humans, yet I struggle to function as one, Amy Schumer, Growing, well, that one there's just a statement, isn't it? Oh, and we can't forget my hit TV show. Expecting Amy. Yeah, there was only one season in 2020, but I'd like to think that it still lives on to this day because the entire world is still expecting me to be fucking funny since I have the title of a stand-up comedian. I'm also the face of Tampax, which is a tampon company. Fitting, considering I soak up the personality and comedic traits of others. Oh, and I'm also a face of a mayonnaise brand. Again, also very fitting because the only times I'm liked is either with something else or someone else and only a select few people like me on my own. And while we're on the topic of high fat content, I can make jokes about myself being fat because at the end of the day, if I can give jokes about other people being fat, I should be able to take them. Jennifer Lawrence was amazing in it, even though she did gain some weight this year. Some people think my jokes can be a step too far. Yeah, I've lost a little bit of weight over the years, but a few more steps on a treadmill wouldn't go amiss. There was a time I got mad for being put in a plus-size section of a magazine. I said something along the lines of, I didn't ask, and I wasn't told I would be in the plus-size section, and I don't think young girls should be looking at my body and thinking it's plus-sized. Yet, I have made countless countless jokes about my weight throughout my entire career. I'm probably like 160 pounds right now and I can catch a d 
whenever I want. Like, that's the truth. I look like her if she were stung by a million bees. Have you realized I've been on a lot more talk shows than I've been on comedy shows? Because the audience are forced to laugh on a talk show with a big fuck off screen that tells them to. Oh, and when I have done comedy shows in the past, there's been times where I've left the show early and scammed an entire audience. But, you know... Allegedly. My newest grab of attention was telling some awful jokes at the Oscars I was told not to say, but just decided to do so anyway, and then defending that point with, but the fish was allowed to slap the zebra. Truly showing I have the attitude and plagiarism of a child at school. At the end of the day, I'm a glorified penguin, and I mean the chocolate bar. I mean, I do waddle around, but... I did not steal any jokes and I wouldn't I will literally take a polygraph and I just would never do that like that would be so stupid for me to do that I mean I can land a joke fairly well even though it's stolen however that doesn't hide behind the fact you can also land a fighter jet on my forehead I've got about the same integrity as a McDonald's ice cream machine and I'm gonna be honest seeing Will Smith smack another man has given me a yeast infection due to the damp and I need to take a break and last but definitely not least I'm a massive twat.